The Santa Barbara Earth Day Festival is the oldest and longest running Earth Day celebration in the United States. From its wide variety of eco-friendly vendors all the way to the food, festivities, and live music, this festival offers not only a great way to educate, but also a great way for the local community to gather together. So the Earth Day Festival is basically a community-wide event where we bring in folks just to present on different nonprofit issues, different uh, community issues, and it's just a kind of a celebration. So this event came out of the 1970 Santa Barbara oil spill, and so CEC sprang out of that, and so now we hold this annual event for community members to organize and to learn about Earth Day. We're Get Oil Out, and we sprang out of the 1969 oil spill uh, off the Santa Barbara coastline that caused huge catastrophe, um, environmental damage, and economic turmoil in Santa Barbara. And what it did is it made the world sort of look and see what kind of uh, uh, issues spring out of our, our lifestyles, you know, driving cars and all the energy we get and the lights we turn on and, and what the, the other side of that is, is oil spills and nuclear meltdowns and all kinds of crazy stuff that can happen. It, it made people really take a look at it and go, hey, what are we doing? So I'm working with Isla Vista Compost Collective. We're a community-based composting organization in Isla Vista. Um, our whole model is to accept like community food scrap donations and then turn those into high quality compost that we can bring back to the community gardens in Isla Vista. So it's like a closed loop food system and we're diverting food scraps from the landfill where they would otherwise produce like methane and carbon and greenhouse gas emissions. And instead we get to turn that into high quality compost that like helps grow food locally. An event like this is really awesome because I'm meeting a lot of other people who are also invested in the same kind of values and like um, different types of regenerative agriculture and food growing. Um, and it's been a really awesome opportunity to connect with other people. I've learned a lot about composting, even though like I work for a composting org, everyone has different methods and it's really been inspiring to meet so many other people who have like the same interests. It makes me feel really good about just like where the world is going. Not only does the Earth Day Festival attract many organizations, but also local and sustainable vendors and eateries alike. I've had my bakery for about five to six years. Um, well, you know, obviously, um, as a local business, um, I'm a big fan of using local um, produce, farmer's market. I shop at the farmer's market every week. I love to use organic um, produce, flour, eggs and butter, so it felt like it was compatible with my values as a business. This is like a really, like I mentioned, a community space. So they really try to have educational pieces, they try to have music, activities, have it be engaging for families as well as nonprofits. So it's a really kind of community-centered event. This two-day festival provides a great way for the local community to gather for a great cause and will hopefully continue for many generations to come. With DP News, I'm Aiden Myers.